Hey everyone, it's David. Welcome or welcome back. In today's episode, we'll be building the succulent green roofs for birdhouses. The first thing you'll need is a birdhouse. You can either purchase a birdhouse or build your own birdhouse. In this case, I purchased this birdhouse and then I built this birdhouse. Um, this birdhouse was built with all recycled materials that I already had. Here's what the birdhouses looked like before I attached the supports for the green roof. Most styles of birdhouses should work for this project. As you can see, these two birdhouses have different roof styles but both will work for attaching the roof supports. In this video, I won't be going over how to build a birdhouse, but there are tons of DIY tutorials that you can find online on how to do this. I will link a document in the description down to below that has some tips uh, to keep in mind while building a birdhouse to make sure that the birds stay healthy and safe. Once you have a birdhouse, you will need to attach supports to the roof that will hold in the soil for the green roof. I cut some old pieces of wood at lengths equal to the width of each side of the birdhouse. They should have enough height so that the roof holds about two inches of soil. These pieces of wood are then simply nailed to each side of the birdhouse's roof. The edges don't need to fit together precisely. You actually want a bit of a gap so that water can easily drain away. And here are the birdhouses once the green roofs have been attached. At this point, the birdhouses can be painted, but this is completely optional. I decided to paint these with a green and brown, non-toxic, latex-based paint. And this is what the birdhouses look like after I've attached the green roofs. I just used leftover trim pieces I had laying around, and I cut them so there would be about two inches or so of soil and I attach them to the roof of the birdhouse. Once again, this doesn't need to be cut exactly perfect. You actually want a little bit of room for water to flow out so that the roots of the plants don't drown. It's completely optional, but you can add some landscape fabric on the roof of the birdhouse. This will help hold in the soil, especially if you have cracks along the edges where soil can't escape. I will be doing that on one of these birdhouses, so let's get that started. Okay, so I have my landscape fabric. I'm just going to cut a piece a little bit larger than what I need to start. I'm just going to press it in. And shorten this to size. The landscape fabric can be glued into place, but make sure you're using a non-toxic glue like 100% silicone. So I just gathered up a bunch of succulents and cuttings that I had, and let's just have some fun and figure out what will look nice up here. So I like the color of these. These are actually were just leaf cuttings that have grown into their own plants. I thought, I don't know, it might be fun if this kind of hangs out over the side. I thought that might be nice. So let me start with that. I'm gonna pop this out. And I'm not putting soil in these to start. Um, I, I do have soil with me in case I need to add some in it, but a lot of these succulents already have soil with them and the amount of soil that these uh, birdhouses will hold is pretty small. So I'll just add um, if I need more at the end. So I'm feeling like this needs to be actually kind of a little bit lower, so I'm going to try to just remove a little bit of the soil. I 
So I want this to kind of, yeah, more hang like this over the edge. I'm liking this. All right. So I'm just gonna play around a bit. I'll keep it in the pot and not decide. I think I'm gonna put this one. Let's try it. Like I thought this thing is already pretty filled with soil. So I'm gonna be taking off most of the soil. And while I'm here, I'm just going to clean up the bottom of the succulent by taking off the drying leaves. So I think I might just try to break a few more succulents out of this. Alright, so yeah, I'm just filling in all the little gaps with tiny little succulents so that it starts out looking really full from the beginning. All right, so this one's pretty full. So now I'm just making sure that all of the soil is compacted down and there's no air pockets. All right, this one's planted. I think it's looking pretty nice. Let me know what you think. And this is what the second one looks like after it's planted. I mostly filled it with a tray of mixed sedums, as you can see. Sedum are also a pretty good choice if you live in a northern climate, as they tend to be pretty cold hardy. I then just filled in the gaps with some additional sedums and some additional soil. So I won't be watering these right away. I'm just gonna set them in a shady spot for a week or so before watering them and let them get acclimated to their new container and then I'll find a good place to hang these up high away from predators.